Okay. Hold up. Ain't this a bitch? Now, wait a minute. Now, here I get all in tune, getting ready to dissect this shit. And you see this motherfucker cut off? You see why I replaced your ass? Do you see now why I had to go head on and remix on your ass? Yeah, and get cool. this one here. That but this cool. one here, this bitch saying, I ain't doing it neither. Look at this shit. It said, I ain't doing it. And fuck you, watch the game. Basically, is what my shit is telling me right now. Seriously, because I've been sitting up here trying to get these goddamn videos out for a minute now. Ken is my fucking witness, and all this shit is going to the fucking me left. I'm like, what gives, you know? God damn it. Anyway, let me go back to where the fuck I was. <sighs> okay, the gist of it all is I need a strong woman's opinion. So that's the name of this video oh, this and all that. Okay, so basically, let me dissect this right here. You guys already got the gist of it because that video is going to come before this one. But for those of you guys that didn't get it, let me read it really, really quick, okay? Because some of you guys probably going to be like, wait a minute, what's she talking about? So for y'all that don't say what she talking about, let me go back with it. I meet men all the time, but I'm so tired of meeting men that want things from me. I'm wondering why these last handful, with the exception of one, that want, want things from me. I am self-employed, and I do okay for myself. I'm also a college student and a mother of three girls, three teen girls, two in high school and one away in college. And their dad takes care of them very well. So my life is good in most areas except meeting Mr. Wright. I don't know why I'm a magnet for men that don't have their stuff together. I keep myself looking good. I cook good. Oh, I go to damn, church. Man, I'm a great mom, a great sister, great daughter. Out of all <sighs> four of my sisters and one brother, I'm the only child of my mom that has never talked back to my mom because I have a great deal of respect for her. So, I have tried to live a good life and treat people good. I just wonder if I will be one of those women that will be single forever unless I decide to settle. I refuse to settle. I was with this one man almost and okay, you can see that it says more, which means it's, you know, it's more being said. So I don't know. Let me see. I don't know what all that means, but mama don't have time to go back because I'm trying to get this out right now. But the gist of it all is you trying to figure out, am I going to be by myself or am I going to have to settle and whoop the whoop whoop whoop. Okay. Well, let me say this. Sister, mm. oh, we are in a crisis. We are seriously in a crisis with our men, with our black men. I don't know about another races because I never dated outside my race or anything. So I don't know what struggles that they go through. But with our black men... It is some shit jumping off. I'm mean, yeah. serious, frackle knackle bullshit jumping off. Okay, now they just—I think really, I think what it is is like I said in a previous video. I think we are. What's the word I'm trying to gather? Because uh, the other word I used was outclass them, but I think we. Hmm. Lack of a better term, we got more than what the fuck they got. You know what I'm saying? I mean, because if you meet a man, and especially if you meet a man over 35, if you meet a man over 35 and have never been married, don't have no children, something wrong with that motherfucker. I'm telling you that right now. It ain't the women, it's his ass. For the simple fact, it's women nowadays trying to, you know, get a man and get pregnant by him to keep him and all kind of other shit. So, Whenever you meet a man and he busts up and he say, I'm 37 and I ain't never been married and I ain't got no children. Something is really wrong with that. Because more times than not, he's selfish, self-centered, uh, stingy, and all that other shit in between. He's not used to sharing his world with nobody else. So then therefore, he's used to getting in his car, going to McDonald's and ordering him a number five, and ain't worried about nobody else in the car because it's just him. Okay? So, 
I don't think that it's a real good thing for a woman, especially a woman over 35, to go out with a man or date a man that don't have any children because especially if you are a mother already, he's not going to have no tolerance or no patience to deal with all of that that comes into motherhood and, you know, how you got to, you know, take a little bit of your funds and put that towards the kids and you have to, you can't stay all night with his ass. You got to come home sometime and, you know, you got to make arrangements. You understand what I'm saying? So... My hope is that, you know, if that's what you're looking for, I'm not saying all of them, but some of them is, is excuse me, it's going to be a little push and pull because, you know, if they're not used to that type of ready-made family type of shit, it's going to be a little rough. You know what I'm saying? I'm not saying it won't work, but I'm just telling you it's going to be a little rough. But on the entry, on the other end of the spectrum, the men that do have children, now you got to deal with, oh, well, I got to go over here and my baby mama need whoop the whoop whoop whoop. And I got to go over here. The kids is having a program. The kids is having this. I got to go over there. I got to do this and that and this and this. On some times where you might want to spend time with the partner, but he got to go because he got other obligation. So what I'm saying to you is this. Not only does he have other obligations, but his money is also tied up in those obligations. So that leaves it to the fact now a lot of women are a little bit more educated nowadays than the brothers. You know what I'm saying? Brothers ain't really going all back to college and doing it all like that. You know what I mean? A lot of the motherfuckers was just lucky enough to get out of high school and that's it. If they go post high school and graduate from college, it's, you know, it's not that prevalent. Now, I'm, now you know what? I'm going to say it's not that prevalent here in California. I don't know where you're from, but I'm saying here in California, bros is cool with status quo. Let me smoke my blunt and let me uh, drink my 40, and I'm cool with that. Now, in other places, more like southern men, southern men are more educational bound. You understand what I'm saying? They were raised a little bit differently. Either you going to college or you going into service. You're going to do something, but you is not getting ready to graduate from high school and not do nothing with your life. Now, most men that I've met that are from southern states, they are that way. Okay? Now, the men that are the eastern brothers that's on the east coast, the men that I met, I'm not saying all of them, but the men that I met, they are on their grind. You know what I'm saying? They're trying to elevate their shit to the next motherfucking level. A lot of them, the ones that I met, okay, they hustlers like a motherfucker, you know. And it's like by any means necessary, if I got to run up in this motherfucker and rob the whoop, 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 I'm getting ready to do it. I'm getting ready to set it off. This is what I'm doing. And when they on some drug shit, they ain't just slanging just, I mean, they, they ain't uh. slanging bullshit ass $25 uh, bags of weed. Them motherfuckers is on some boulders, if you understand what I'm saying. You know what I'm saying? I mean, the brothers on the East Coast are way different from the brothers on the West. Because the brothers on the West Coast, them niggas is like, you know what? Let me meet up with Keisha. She got Section 8. Bitch, let me uh move in with you. And they cool with that. And they are comfortable with it. And they don't want no more than that. Let me just put in on the groceries. Let me just put in on the lights. And I'm cool with that. Southern men are more traditional in a sense. Because they feel like, you know, this is my wife, this is my woman, I need to support her fully. You understand? East Coast men, they're a little bit more, you know, they riders, you know what I mean? They, 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 they subject to call you a bitch, but it's like a term of endearment to them. It's not like no real bad thing to say, this is my bitch, you know what I'm saying? Brothers from the East Coast is a little bit more, you know, they don't bite their tongues and shit, you know? I don't know exactly where you're from, but I'm just saying, okay? But not only that, with that being said, okay, and by you being a college student, you got three girls, excuse me, your girls, is, you know, you're doing, you know, what you can do as a mother for them, their daddy kicking in, he, you know, supporting and all that. Sister, I'm just telling you, now day and time, the brothers is, they different. The, the brothers is different from the brothers and the 60s and 70s and shit. Then some, it's some different type of, it's a different creed, I'm telling you. And these niggas ain't got no problem, no problem with riding your coattail. You know what I'm saying? They ain't got no problem with allowing you to pay for everything. 
They have no problem with it. Why? Because there's so many women out here talking about I'm so independent and, you know, guess what? I got my bachelor's in sociology and hell yeah, I'm, you know, uh, Zeta Phi Beta and all this kind of shit. You know what I'm saying? There's so many women out here, you know, flaunting their shit. And I'm not saying nothing is wrong with it because my sister is a Zeta. So don't miss it. And my niece is a Zeta. So I'm not saying that a woman is supposed to just, you know, be on some... You know, you know, drop your shit down in Sanford and Son. I'm not saying that. But nowadays, it's not that many stigmas. You know what I mean? It's just not. You know what I mean? It's not that many of them. Because, and the ones that are college bound and educated and all that kind of shit, what, the, they standards is so high, they ain't fucking with Laquita. Them motherfuckers want Becky, they want Cindy, they want... They own some whole other shit. So it's like, you know, what do we do as black women? Either you're going to be by yourself, or you're going to be somebody's jump off, or you're going to have to lower your motherfucking standards if you don't want to be by yourself. Because now day and time, motherfuckers, is cool. niggas is cool with getting goddamn general relief. Niggas is cool with getting motherfucking uh, SSI checks. It's niggas right now. And I, mean, I don't know about out there. But out here in California, shit, niggas get them an SSI check and be cool with it. I mean, they playing the role. They going down there, I'm 5150, I'm whoop the whoop whoop whoop. Let me give me a check. Brothers here in California, them niggas, is, they deliberately fall on a motherfucking job to get them a little workman's comp. You know what I mean? Just to get them a check. See, the brothers here is going to come up. I don't know what it is in your state. But I'm telling you right now, if you fucking with black people meet, black planet, and all that other shit, when they say California, I'm telling you right now, if them motherfucking, if they shit say Cal, I'm Tyrone, and I'm from Claremont, don't fuck with that motherfucker. I'm telling <coughs> you right now, because the brothers are different here, okay? They are different here. So, I hope that I answered your, uh, your PM um, you know, and don't nobody want to be by themselves. I mean, let's just face it. Nobody wants to be by themselves, you know, and you want your equal. Mm. And I understand that. You got three girls that you supporting and a full-time mother and all. You ain't got time for no motherfucking nigga coming showing up at your motherfucking house at dark 30 for some pussy and all that other shit. But yet this motherfucker can't take you out to PDS chains. For real, nigga. I mean, you can't even take my motherfucking ass to Benny Hanna's or nothing. But yet you want some pussy at 4 in the morning. I mean, come on, nigga. You know what I mean? I mean, who does that? Or where they do that at? Okay. So, anyway. Mama, I hope that I answered your PM. Um, you know. But, I don't know what to tell you. Because there's so many of us in... Well, not us. Okay? It's not us. But it's so many women... Yes. In this same motherfucking predicament as you. And everybody is scratching their motherfucking lace fronts right now. Like, bitch, well, I don't know what we're going to do, bitch. I don't... I can't even call it. I, you know, I got me one of them motherfuckers too, and I just don't know. You know what I'm saying? But all I'm going to say is, if it's just going to be a jump off, then just let it be a jump off. You know what I'm saying? Try not to get so emotionally attached, because if he's just going to make you a fill-in, and you basically just going to be his jump off, then keep it to what the fuck it is. You know what I'm saying? When you with him, it's about y'all, and when you... With your girl, it's about you. When you by yourself, it's about you. When you with dude, it's about boo. You know what I'm saying? So you just gotta. I don't know what to tell you, mama. I don't know. I don't know what to tell you other than I wish you all the best. Keep your sister girl posted on how this here turn out. My hope is that you meet you somebody nice. And you know what fucks it up though? Have you ever seen in essence, uh? And they always have the eligible ba eligible bachelors and shit. Them some far-fetched ass motherfuckers, ain't it? Because you best bet believe when they put that shit out there and they put a, a contact me, I'm Brian Blaine, at essence.com backslash Blaine. You know what I'm saying? It's so many bitches hollering at them. I mean, and, and just like brothers is all, a lot of brothers are saying, it's 10 to 1 and it's 10 to 1, but all 10 of them ain't going to want your ass. So I'm tired of hearing that shit too. It's 10 to 1, but it's about quality. Now, if you just want somebody to suck your dick around 2 o'clock in the morning, you can get them all day long. Because that's all the fuck they want from your ass too. But if but if you trying to get some quality, 
and you're quality, Mama. Because for you to be going to school mm. and still raising daughters and all that, you are definitely quality. And all of this right here that you're doing, especially taking care of Mama and all that, girl, you are quality. So it's like, I feel you on that. Do I lower my standards to just kick it with Jerome and shit? It depends on what you want. If you want a lasting relationship, sometimes you got to dust these motherfuckers off. I mean, I, I understand that that's not what we want to do. That's not part of the plan and shit. But, you know, because the brothers is in a crisis, baby. I mean, they, they in a crisis. I mean, they just, they just, it's fucked up. <laughs> so anyway, on that note, mama, I hope I answered your question. I hope I answered it. If not, then, you know, the rest of you guys chime in on this and give some word of advice to my girl here. Um, you know, hey, and then they, at one point in time, they were saying, go to the church. That's where you find good men at. Shit, you ain't no telling what the fuck you might get at the church, neither. I don't want to go there, but goddamn it, ain't no telling, you know what I mean? <laughs> Hello, somebody, you know? So, I mean, it's like, I don't even know where you would meet decent men at nowadays. I, I can't even tell you where you meet them at. Because these niggas, is a, it's, it's a game, I'm telling you. So, on that note, mama, I don't know. Good luck. All right, lady. Deuces. Bye.